But right now, she was named the Outstanding Female Athlete at the Drake Relays this year on the high school side. Her Roosevelt Rough Rider teammates did an outstanding job. They have definitely put a target on their back, but that's just fine. She is Erin Hawkins, the Rough Riders of Des Moines Roosevelt. Erin, good morning, young lady. Congratulations. How does it feel to be named the Drake Relays Outstanding Female High School Athlete? Good morning. Uh, it feels great. I, I feel great right now, actually. Now, taking a look back, don't you wish uh, maybe the weather was kind of like this instead of what it was like last week? But you guys still performed outstanding out there. Oh, yeah, I wish it was better, but I think it's more of a story to tell, so it's more fun. Uh, it was hard, but uh, it was a challenge, and we like challenges. Well, Aaron, one thing I noticed, and I want to talk about yourself and the teammates a little bit, but one thing I noticed as a group overall, you guys are almost too businesslike. You, you, you congratulated your opponents and your teammates when you won, but you could tell by the way your actions are on the track, there's a whole lot more to do, and you guys knew it. Oh, yeah, we're... <laughs> Uh, we like to be sportsmanlike and go out there and do our best, but I mean, we don't have a problem with the men and girls. We want to make sure that they know that. But uh, we, do a lot, we go out there to win, and I'm friends with a lot of girls outside of track, but uh, we can't be friends on the track. <laughs> so it's just fine, and we're hoping to have a good turnout at state. Well, you're going to head to the University of Minnesota next year. What made you uh, make that decision, Erin? Um, I just felt comfortable there. Uh, a lot of the other schools, I didn't feel the connection with the team. Um, and the coach, I really like the coach in the city. And I don't know, everything just kind of fell in place there. Yeah, you got to go where you want to and, and enjoy yourself and feel comfortable. That's a great choice. University of Minnesota, an outstanding track and field program over there. Now, Des Moines Roosevelt, you know, you knocked off my, I'm a graduate of Des Moines East. The boys had the most Drake Relays wins in, in one Drake Relays with six. And you guys snapped that record with seven victories. Boy, that's amazing what you guys did on the track. Oh, thank you. Now, your teammates, you know, you have a lot of teammates there. And what I find interesting about this team, and you've been part of this team for your years at, at, at Roosevelt, over the years, Iowa City West, we've talked about them here on our show, Iowa City High, even Waukee at times and some other schools, their field programs are so much better. They, you, you might have a good track team, but you can't score in the field events, and you end up being out of chasing for the uh, state title at the co-ed track and field championships. You have a couple of young ladies who are going to help you score in the field events, and with what you got on the track side of things, you guys are definitely going to be one of the favorites this year in the 4A field. Yeah, I really hope so. Jalen Roberts Lewis and Alexa Hunt are field events right now, and those two are one's a junior and one's a sophomore, so they're both coming back, and they work really hard at practice, so I know that they can give us a couple points that we need, and I just, we're just praying that it goes well. Now, Aaron, I know one thing. Track People who like to run, track athletes, they almost have a sickness. They seem like they have to run every day or their day goes wrong. But tell me about what you do to unwind. What do you do? What, what does Aaron Hawkins do away from the track that she really enjoys with her family or friends? Oh, uh, I just like hanging out and watching movies. I also play violin, so I like oh. doing that on my free time. So, I mean, we're all normal. People, people think that we're like... That's all we do is run, but we, we hang out together, and we watch TV, we watch movies together, and we just chill, so well, that, we have a lot of fun together. Well, that's awesome. The violin, how, how long have you been playing the violin? Since second grade. Well, that's awesome. That's an interesting instrument. That's something that takes a lot of patience, and when you're in track and field, uh, you have to have some of that, even though you're going right. fast out of those blocks, so... Good instrument oh, yeah. to play. Now, you, you run the 100, the 200, and you're part of the relay teams. What's your favorite to run? I enjoy watching great relay teams. Do you enjoy running those, or how intense is that worrying about those handoffs? Uh, the handoffs, we, we practice them so much in practice that it's, it's not really a big deal when we get to the meet. Um, but my favorite two is that at 4 by one and the 200 for sure. Is it really? Now, uh, when you head to Minnesota, you're planning to stay with the sprints and, and, and part of the relay teams over there as well? Yeah, I think, I think so, but I'm probably going to be more of a 2-4 girl. Oh, yeah, you're going to move 2-4? That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, tell me about your experience. The Drake Relays is something special. When you go around the country, what Iowa high school athletes get the opportunity to do to run against to, to be on the same track with the best in the collegiate level and the Olympic and, and professional level. Tell me about those experiences, maybe one or two of those things that have stood out to you as being part of the Drake Relays over the years. Uh, it, when the professionals are there and the collegiate people, it, it just kind of gives you a vision. You can kind of see where you are and see where you can be one day, so it makes you work harder in practice and it makes you want to run better just 
all around. It, it gives you just motivation to be your best out there. And, you know, colleges are watching and, you know, like the pros are watching and everything. And it's really cool. It's a cool experience. It's a little bit of a pressure, but it's good pressure and it's motivation. So I really like it a whole lot. And being a part of Roosevelt's legacy with, like, Noah Jones and Natasha Kaiser Brown, like, we all want to be with them, up there with them one day. So it's just motivation to do our best out there. We're talking to Erin Hawkins, named the Outstanding Female Iowa High School Athlete at the Drake Relays this past season, uh, this past weekend, I should say, not season. And uh, if you if you have missed her at the Drake Relays and you love track and field, then the Coed Track and Field Championships is another place that you're definitely going to be able to see her at back at the Blue Oval at Drake University here in not too long in the future. And uh, this Des Moines Roosevelt team and her teammates are going to definitely make a, a noise out there. And Erin Hawkins, one of the leaders there, part of four Drake, Drake Relays Championships this past weekend. And the team of Des Moines Roosevelt won six seven individual or relay championships, so an outstanding effort by uh, those young ladies. You know, Aaron, you, you look at the Des Moines, you, you only have to go down your hallways and, uh, or your gym class or wherever it's at where they put the records at and see some names out there in the track and field world that you all can look up to. And I know you just brought up Lolo Jones. Uh, boy, what kind of an inspiration is she, she has been, not only on but off the track, because she's just one of those classy young ladies. And uh, when she lost in the Olympics last year, Everybody fell in love with her even more for what she's about. Oh, yeah. She's an inspiration to all of us. And, I mean, just Roosevelt as a whole, our, our female track program has it's always produced a lot of uh, great athletes. And, I mean, in those records up there, you want to take them down, but you <laughs> like that they're up there. It's a, it's a challenge, but it, it's good. And I know that they support us also and just good support from our school and the community. It, just, it helps a lot, and it's just great to be a part of. Now, all the young ladies, I, I don't want you to just have to pick one out, but there's always that character that keeps you all loose. Who is the character? Is it yourself? Or who is it, who, which one of your teammates keeps you loose on that Roosevelt track team? Oh, uh, I think I'm the more upbeat one. I'm kind of hyper all the time and just trying to keep everybody in good mood and laughing. But, so, I mean, I think like Jalen and Destiny are pretty good at that, too. So we're pretty close, so it's good to keep each other uh, upbeat and positive. So... I think as a whole, we all come together and keep everybody going. Now, you just didn't happen overnight and in high school level to become the success you are. There's a lot of kids out there that maybe inspire to aspire to become what you have done or, or have an opportunity to do that. How long How long ago did you start running track, and who was one of some of your young youth coaches that really got you motivated to, uh, to, and to understand that you had an opportunity to do something special in track and field? Um, I started running in fourth grade with Track Iowa with Reggie and Larry Jackson, who I just give all my credit to for uh, just getting me started and showing me the basics of track. And I really I wouldn't be here without them. They're great coaches and they they love the sport. And uh, it was hard at times and it's still hard now to keep motivated. But I think it's fun and it's a great experience. And I'm really glad that I'm in it. Yeah. How I am. Now, did Larry try to talk you into wrestling too? Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> He's not that crazy. <laughs> okay. Well, Aaron, I know it's. Uh, I know you've got a lot of work to do yet. You've talked about that in the past. Uh, all we can hope for is the weather conditions are at least as close to perfect as possible because I am really, and I think track and field fans, who anybody who loves track and field, are really looking forward to having great great weather and, and see if some of those records that you guys are already have broken, can't be broken again, or haven't broken, will be broken. So we wish you the best of luck and the best of health down the stretch here and look forward to talking to you and seeing you over there at the Coed State Track and Field Championships, young lady. Thank you. All right. Tell your teammates the same. Okay, I will. Thank All right. You. Aaron Hawkins of Des Moines Roosevelt, outstanding, named the Drake Relays, outstanding female athlete of the Drake Relays, and congratulations to her and her teammates. Again, Des Moines Roosevelt winning seven events, either as a team or relays, at the Drake Relays. Congratulations to them. That's an all-time Iowa high school record at the Drake Relays. We'll take a break.